Hey everybody, uh, it's Todd here. Welcome to the uh, Donnie Williams Show. This is the show where I, Todd Anderson, tell a, a story, anecdote, deliver some behind-the-scenes facts uh, from my uh, more than two decades as a professional actor. And I do this at the behest of a professional drummer named Donnie Wahlberg. Um, Donnie Wahlberg, that's not, that's not true. Donnie Williams. Donnie Wahlberg has nothing to do with this. Uh, and I don't think he's, is he a drummer? I don't know. Uh, he was in some of those Saw movies. Anyway, uh, Donnie Williams, uh, is an accomplished drummer. Certainly, uh, more accomplished as a drummer as I am as an actor, I think. I mean, I'm not sure. If you know, and you think that I'm wrong about that, and that I'm a better actor than Donnie is a drummer, then find him on social media and tell him that. Get it, get it straight in his head. Okay. Anyway, one of the things that I like about acting is, uh, and this is going to sound weird, but, uh, you know, uh, you get into these physical situations that you wouldn't be in in real life if you're, you're smart. Um, and, uh, and it's exciting, you know, you get in fights and, or you shoot people or you get shot. And, uh, I did one movie a long time ago where I got shot and that involved one of my favorite things about the movies is a squib. You know, when people's like, they get shot and their chest blows out. Sometimes they'll put like blood, a blood packet in the squib so their chest will, <laughs> all this blood. It's awesome. So anyway, I uh, I got to do it uh, on a movie where I got shot. And, uh, and you know, you, the, the, you know, the practical effects guys are involved. They're uh, pyrotechnicians and all that. Uh, uh, and so, and you put a lot of trust in them with the squib because the squib, you know, they fasten it you know, somewhere onto your body, wherever you're supposed to get shot. Um, and then it blows out. But if they put it on wrong, it'll blow in and it'll kill you, uh, potentially, uh, or do some serious damage in any event. Uh, but, uh, um, so you put a lot of trust and it, you know, it's a little nerve wracking in that way. But, you know, once it has sort of like a thrill seeker uh, element to it. So, uh, so, and it was, it was exciting. I mean, and, and, and I got shot and then, but then I had to sort of jump backwards into a mat to, you know, sell that I got shot and got knocked off my feet. Uh, and, uh, and on that particular movie, uh, it was originally scripted that my uh, character was killed. Uh, but the, uh, the last minute they decided they liked me. So, um, they, the, my character, so they, um, they put a, a bulletproof vest. So someone opened the shirt where I'd shot and there was a bulletproof vest underneath. And I remember uh, when my dad watched the movie, he was super relieved to find out that there was a, a, a bulletproof vest under my shirt. Not because he cared whether or not the character died. It's just for the whole movie, he thought I'd look bloated. And when they, re re you know, they revealed that I had a bulletproof vest, he was like, oh, that's why you look fat the whole time. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, is that was a cheat, uh, and I was not wearing a bulletproof vest until they revealed that I had a bulletproof vest. So I was, you know, actually overweight, but now I'm a Simi Valley bike reporter. So I, I'm in better shape, not great, but better. This has been a Blursh production. Blur.